Heaven is our home. We are made for God. We are made for heaven. And until we get there, we are restless and we are just not home. We're pilgrims. We're wayfarers. We haven't arrived. We're on the way, like the chosen people wandering through the desert for 40 years in status viator, on the way. And I really do have an anxiety for us until we get safely home. Do you ever think about heaven? I've got to ask you that. You know, the older I grow, I ask myself these questions. It's good to think about heaven. Uh, I, I had a hard time the last hour because I, I just, it's, it's hard for me to talk about hell for an hour. Uh, it'll be easier talking about heaven for an hour. I remember once a bishop said to me, bishops have said a lot of things to me. <laughs> but this was a very good bishop, a very nice man, very fine man. Uh, <laughs> and I went to do a job for him. And he said to me, I'll never forget, he said, John, now, now, John, I want you to be smooth. <laughs> Moi? <laughs> I want you to be smooth so as to gain a constituency. Now, I, what I said, I said, Bishop, you've been a bishop too long. <laughs> but he meant well. And I knew what he meant. He meant convince people, you know, win friends, influence people, get them over to your way of thinking, and then you can guide them in the right direction. He meant very well, he was not wrong. Be smooth so as to gain a constituency. I have not been smooth. I have been rough around the edges since the day I was born. But I've gained a constituency that numbers in the millions. And I haven't done it by telling people what they want to hear. I've done it by telling people what they need to hear. And there is a difference. <laughs> the good, solid people of God, just like you, you can't fool them. They know. Oh, at a given point in time in your life, the truth may not go down easily because you may not be living it here or there. Uh, you may be doing something in your life that isn't right. You know, I'll guarantee you, <laughs> if I preach a sermon on some difficult moral issue, if I mention things like abortion, artificial contraception, so-called alternative lifestyles, if I preach about... Uh, sexual sins uh, which are uh, endemic, uh, which are epidemic uh, today, uh, uh, guaranteed I will draw fire. Guaranteed people will attack me for that. The truth is like a heat-seeking missile. It will go right to the wounded area. Boom! It'll hit you right where you need to get hit. I remember once preaching in Erie, Pennsylvania. I think I told you about this last night. Maybe I didn't. They all run together. And the older I get, <laughs> the last hundred missions I've done are have all run together. I'm not quite sure, but I was preaching and I just mentioned abortion and passing. A woman leaped to her feet and started shrieking like a banshee. They had to carry her out. That missile hit right where it needed her. That was the wounded area. Later she went to confession. God bless her. We got to get this right. There's no time left in the world or in your life for silly games. Get it right. Get in a state of grace. If you need to go to confession, do it right away. Don't wait. Do it. Just do it like the commercial says. Just do it. <laughs>